Guilt comes up when you've done something you don't wish you had, right? You feel bad about, or you're embarrassed about, or you're ashamed of, or you know, usually it's something, quote, bad that you did that you have regret for, right? So extreme regret is guilt, right? Okay, is that reasonable? Extreme regret or strong regret would be guilt. Okay, so then let's look at the word regret. We always talk about how everything is here to teach you. There's nothing bad or good, but everything is here as an opportunity to grow as a soul. So regret, in our book, is a wasted notion. You can reevaluate afterwards something you've done and recognize you would have handled it differently from the person you are today. That does happen. And we, even when Veronica does this, we feel this feeling in her body that looks like regret or looks like, oof. Right? But that's the path of consciousness, is to get from those positions where you go, oh yeah, oh my God, I feel guilty, or I feel regret, or shame. And to look at that anew, with, new, with new light, with a new light. What is it that I am resisting, embracing, that's resulting in guilt? What is it that I'm resisting, embracing? Because if it happened, it happened for a reason. And it's the reason it happened and the learning that you can extract from it that makes it, quote, worth it. See, guilt is, is a sense of waste, right? Oh, I wasted that opportunity to do it the right way or I wasted that moment in my life or I wasted something and I feel guilty because it's, it's, it's became garbage or it became a throwaway or it became a miss, right? Whereas when you embrace what it is taught me, and you, what we say, wring every bit of learning out of it, and the things you feel guilty about or feel shameful about are the perfect things to do that with. Because there's a lot there. Because you're trying to skip it. There's obviously something there. There's something juicy there. You're skipping it. Because you're in a position of, I wish that had never happened. I wish that had never happened, so I'm going to skip over it. Well, it happened, and it's hanging out in your field. And in making inquiry about it is how you transform it. Because the question really is, you know, the question we wish they had asked, <laughs> how do I transform my, percep my, my perception of guilt about something that happened? Right? That's the question we wish they had asked. How do I transform my choice to feel guilty about something that happened. That's even more conscious. Right? How do I find the healing in a situation that I'm perceiving as feeling guilty about? You see how you rephrase it and it changes everything? It goes from being a, how do I get out of it? What's the opposite of guilt? To, okay. Okay. Right? Opposite of guilt. The number one search for item. Is there a tool for that? A tool for the opposite of guilt or for... No, for, for uh, how do I transform my choice to feel guilty? Yeah, the tool would be something like, well, it's kind of a what is true now, right? It's, it's number one, acknowledging the truth of the situation. That's the first step. So what's something somebody would feel guilty about? Cheated on their husband. Okay, somebody cheated on their husband. Sex. Joey says sex. Okay, apparently that's what people feel guilty about. Okay, I cheated on my husband. That's going to be the, the, the thing. And I feel guilty about it. Okay, so the first thing to do is to, well, mostly what people would do is be, I feel guilty and I can't think about why I feel guilty because I feel too uncomfortable if I think about the fact that I cheated. So instead, I'm just going to have this, like, black cloud follow me around of guilt. And they're in the guilt instead of in the what is true now. Got it? So if we go back to what is true now, I made a choice. The word choice is going to be very helpful in the resolving the guilt thing, apparently. I made a choice to have sexual relations outside of my marriage. Period. Short factual statement will help too. And I feel so crushingly guilty. Okay? The cho and the choice 
And I am choosing to feel guilty about it. I'm choosing to feel guilty about it. I did X and I'm choosing to feel guilty about it. We could probably put other uh, emotional states in other than guilty, but we'll stick with guilty for now. I did, I'm choosing guilt. Can we look at that for a second? Yeah. If you're choosing to feel guilty about it, yeah. isn't that, wouldn't that have to do also with the consciousness you're bringing to it? Like, you wouldn't feel guilty, if you didn't like your husband, you wouldn't feel guilty about it. You know, where if you cared about him and cared about his feelings, you would feel guilty about it. Well, we're trying to do too many things simultaneously here. Okay. So let's first do it if you, if, let's first do this tool as if you just feel guilty, not whether or not you care about your husband or not. We can't co complicate it quite that much at this point. Because you asked for a tool. So let's finish the tool part and then we'll see how it fits with. John's like doing five steps of questions here. We did tell John to come up with questions because we weren't <laughs> sure we'd have enough. So it's our own darn fault. Okay. So I did. I'm choosing. Now this is consciousness studies here, folks. This isn't, this isn't, you know, your average person on the side of the road is not going to be like, okay, I chose, you know, no, this is consciousness studies. You want to get out of this. This is one of the ways to do it. I did X. I'm choosing Y response. And we would say, you say that, you know, 50 or 60 times. Just say it, write it down, say it over and over. Because this tool is, is primarily to break the automated habitual response to any time you have the slightest inkling of remembering this thing you feel guilty about, you go into deep, profound, black cloud covering you guilt. So you want to get in there that you did something and you're choosing how you're reacting. Okay? So that would be the main tool. And then once you recognize it's a choice, like once you feel like you can break that habit a little, the next step would be to say, my choice is now to see it as a learning experience. So you had, I did it, I'm choosing to feel guilty. To rec and the word choosing is where you want to start putting your emphasis, not guilty. You get that? <laughs> I'm choosing, like recognizing I am making a choice to feel guilty. And then the next step is, and I recognize that I can make a different choice. And a different choice would be to see that there is something to learn. And maybe like in your first question, the thing you learn is, my God, I actually really do love my husband and I really do want to be in a monogamous relationship with him. And wow, this really clarified that for me. Or the choice may be, I really don't love my husband and I feel guilty about stepping out on him, but it also clarified that I'd rather not be married to him. Right? What did it teach you? Did it teach you, Jesus, I feel so much shame when I step out on my husband. It was not worth it. Or I feel liberation about that choice. John, did that help bring in your, did that help bring in the second part you were asking us? We were in energetically a different space when you asked that and we couldn't shift gears fast enough. No, that's good. Yeah, I didn't, no, 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 I think so. Okay. Um, yeah, that's good. So guilt just like any other strong emotional state can be debilitating. But every experience is here to teach you. And that's the path of consciousness, is finding what positions are here to teach you, what experiences are here to teach you, what they're here to show you, what they're here to illuminate. And this tool is good no matter the, the timing, like whether it was years ago. Oh, or yeah. Or no, it, the timing doesn't matter. You can use this tool for, for lots of stuff. Right? Because we could say... I stole my brother's car and crashed it, and I'm choosing to feel sad about that, right? Okay, you're still choosing sadness. And people will say, I don't choose my emotional state. And we say, yes, you do. 